blow all the game. So, Caps United, uh, Coach Lloyd Chitembu and Chigirin, Coach Joey Antipas have been summoned to appear before the Premier Soccer League Disciplinary Committee to answer the charges of bringing the league into disrepute following comments they made after their team, respective teams, uh, on Mesh Day 5. Both coaches were frustrated but what they claim to be poor officiating, what Chitembu accusing major officials of turning the Premier Soccer League into a comic show. This was in the aftermath of the abandoned match against FC Platinum on Saturday, which, uh, well, at that time, they were trailing by a goal to nil with about four minutes to go. Here's Rachel Temple. Mm -hmm. well, I talked to both, both sets of players really apply themselves because they were entertaining. Like, they were football, I thought, and then, um, yeah, but I, I strongly believe they had a slight edge over, over the door. They were very competitive, you know, in the initial struggles of the game. But, uh, yeah, such has been the, 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 the problem in our in football, where the wrong men will obviously take uh, center stage. It's, it's just unfortunate, and uh, it has probably reduced this place or to comic show and uh, it's, it's, it's very, very unfortunate where week in, week out, people are always complaining about uh, poor officiating and uh, stuff. It's, it's, it's something that really needs to be directed from our game where we aspire to be a serious population. You know, it's, it's, it's very disappointing. Well, what I can say is that um, it's disappointing with the poor officiating. It was poor from from kickoff, we were in trouble. They were just blowing against us, blowing against us, and then the goal that was scored, the ball went out. Play on. So I agree with Lloyd Chitembe. It's PSL is now a comic because of poor, inept officiating. All right, so yeah, those uh, two we played them back to back. Uh, Lloyd Chitembe first, and then uh, Joey Antipas just buttressing what they, they, they were thinking. So these two guys will appear before a disciplinary committee. First will be Shitembo on the 23rd of April, while Antipas will appear two days later. So Shitembo and Antipas are not the only coaches uh, who were frustrated by some of the officiating. Well, Dharma's coach Genesis Mangombe and Bikita Minero's coach Saul Chaminuka also expressing their disappointment with some of the officiating. Dharma's coach uh, Mangombe suggested that the questionable officiating could be a result of influence from some clubs. Now you cannot plan for that. Maybe we need to play it dirty. We also need to play it dirty. Because well, you see, this is the second time we, we, we lost it, it is a, uh, a two points again. Uh, last, last week but one, we lost two points. Two, exactly the same goal. We scored, it was a clear goal, and it was denied. Today we scored a clear goal, it was denied. So we don't even know what is going to come for us. So we will just prepare for everything. Because it's not proper that uh, you, you train the whole week, then at the end of the day, they just decide. So we'll see what, what happens when we get there, but it's not good for our football. Birgitta Miros, uh, Coach Sol Chamigo, added that uh, the man in the middle should not be allowed to influence the outcome of matches. We score a very good goal. And I don't know why. Someone decides against it. And it is such decisions that end up deciding games. And I'm not happy. I don't, I don't want to lie. Sanction or what? I don't care. We cannot have this kind of football every day. And that goal was the turning point of this game. It's difficult to get in there because now, like I said, decisions end up, they decide. Maybe we had uh, our mistakes, we also had our game in our hands sometimes, and that's football. And I think games might just be decided on the pitch by players, not otherwise. We must compete, we, 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 we are into this to competing. We spend a lot of time working on these guys. And when they do right, we, 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 they're supposed to just be credited for, for having done right. Yeah, so those are the views of those uh, coaches about 
you know, what they allege has been a bit of a mess up on the part of the referees. I, I, I was struggling, you know, to understand. Yes, I, I know uh, you bring in two teams, you've got 11 aside, you've got three, four match officials, uh, you've got coaches on both sides, whether this other bench has got a bulk of coaches, this one, that, but at the end of the day, the game is played. So, so Chaminuka brings in that dimension that we need players to determine what happens, not the other. What does he mean by that? I think he's uh, probably suggesting that uh, some of the officiating, especially I think when you look at uh, the Caps, FC Platinum, uh, the Manika Chicken Inn and the Arnold Bikita, all those coaches' frustrations came from disallowed goals. So I think when you have a goal disallowed, whether rightly or wrongly, I think for a coach, you feel like that's a game-changing situation and it has influenced the outcome of a particular, particular match. And you know what? Uh, I, I don't mind uh, Saul Chaminika's approach was he was at pains to try and explain, uh, you know, in terms of saying the refs shouldn't influence. And I think we need to hold match officials to account in terms of how they run or officiate a game. And the fact that they have become the center of attention, especially after match week five, just shows that maybe it's not at the standard that we need it to be. But at the same time, you hear the comments of someone like Lloyd Chitembwe or even Joey Atipas who echoed to him. And then, you know, when you start saying it's a comic show or when you start calling referees stupid, I think it then becomes a bit reckless. You're taking away from whatever genuine... Because uh, you, you could be right. The referee has made a bad decision. But sometimes in how you communicate uh, that bad decision, look what's happening now. He's getting uh, summoned along with Joey Antipas, who I feel like you got peer pressure because it's just like I agree. I agree with, with his chamber. So I think there needs to be a certain level of uh, responsibility from the coaches to be able to say the same, to be able to say, you know what, I think we were denied a goal. And then you, you explain to us why you think it wasn't an offside. I think, I don't think this, the PSO is going to summon you if you say, you know what, in my view, if you look at player X in this position, I don't think they were interfering with play. I don't think you're going to get sanctioned. But when you start generalizing and making comments like uh, it's a comic show you know stupid man you know i think that language in over it, it, it destroys the whole conversation it's your premier football show the couch wednesday at 9 p.m konapo konapo ipapo ipapo pazetian prime dsv channel 294 the place to be